letting go of those identities and just allowing fluidity, which I think is a really beautiful way to phrase this journey, allowing fluidity to be the thing that actually is my life, set me free. However, getting there, that in its own right was a journey. Mm. How did you get here? Yeah, so I, uh, so I did door-to-door sales my whole life, which I'm going to kind of run the analogy of kind of this carnivore hunter 1099 entrepreneur type world. And it helped me because I, I think a lot of people take the W2 route. Like I sold curbs through high school. Then I did alarm sales in Texas. Then I did solar sales, you know, and, and so I've always had to eat what I kill. And then I started to realize life is much more that way than you think in all aspects, whether it's fitness, family, relationship, like wh- whatever it is, it's like every opportunity you want and to get to me where I'm at, where I've, you know, got a lot of money and have a good life and, you know, have a cool b- couple of businesses and um, is being willing to go knock the door. It's just going to be and say, I want to start a company. I'm going to go knock the doors and figure out how to go start the company. Or, I want to go build an app. I want to go f- knock some developers doors and figure out what which ones are good and sell them on discounts and pay them and figure it out. Right. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a resourceful human. And, you know, so I. I I think a lot of times people are like, oh, how did the successful become successful? What they don't see, they see the highlight reels. Like we see the, you know, the ESPN top 10 plays and this and that, but they're not showing the workouts that these guys are doing day in and day out in the gym twice a day. And they're just like showing the, the, the sweet dunk or the sweet touchdown pass or whatever. Right. And I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I keep knocking doors every freaking day. Like I'm, I'm constantly out there grinding and saying, Hey, how do I go create the life that I want and then find equanimity and like an equilibrium essentially between that like achievement where I'm like, I'm going to go freaking chase after some awesome goals and, and do some cool things like writing books or, or, or selling big clients. And, you know, like yesterday we, we we made a ton of money selling in this conference and it was like, that was a goal of mine. I was like, I want to hit this number. And, um, but I've been chasing that for a while, you know what I mean? And, you know, then, there's the element of alignment where I've watched myself get down the wrong path. And so that's taken some cool pivots where I've gone through a divorce and I've had, you know, lost hundreds of thousands of dollars with the wrong people and partners and had the moments of trials and, and just smackdowns, you know what I mean? Like everybody else, like they, a lot of people look at me and they're like, Oh, you're the privileged white kid that grew up in park city. And I'm like, no, I, I, my parents didn't give me shit. like, yeah, I grew up in a really, cool environment that was not the typical you know grew up in brooklyn in the bronx and had no money like but my parents had to teach me how to work and then i had to go through life's experience to get where i'm at you know what i mean i I think a lot of people get handheld to a certain point and then at some point they get like dropped off and then it's like oh crap i gotta like i have to do some stuff and i think that school of hard knocks that i went through my whole career gave me that resilience of getting knocked down, getting back up again, getting knocked down, getting up back up again. And just that resiliencedness taught me how to go achieve what I what I want. 